Today we're going to do crunchies. I think the crunchies are one of the unsung heroes in our bake mix range. And they are so delicious and so healthy and so easy to make. Let me show you exactly how easy it is. You start with the butter and we're going to add some golden syrup. And we've got a kettle of boiling water here. Always a good idea to boil the kettle before you start cooking. I need that same boiling water because later on we're going to use some chocolate. So just pour some boiling water in a bowl and put the broken up chocolate on top of the bowl. And by the time we finish with the crunchies, the chocolate will be just right. Right, so the butter is in there. The reason why I've got the spoon in the boiling water is so that it gets very hot and it makes it easy to measure the golden syrup. So we need two spoons of golden syrup. Oh, doesn't that look great? And you can see how hardly any of it sticks to the spoon. The spoon just goes back in the water and this golden syrup and butter goes into the microwave just until the butter is melted. Now the butter is, and the syrup is just melted together nicely and now we're going to add one of the most economical, most delicious, most healthy, all those good things natural flavor and that is orange rind and you just grate the rind off and you can see I'm using a microplane just grate off the outer rind always remember you do the rind first okay let's just Make sure we get every bit of that delicious orange flavor in here. And now we need to squeeze some juice. And we need roughly about two tablespoons, which is about the juice of half an orange. So, squeeze the juice in there. And in fact, the orange is very easy to squeeze once you've grated off the rind because it makes the orange very soft. Right? And now we introduce the products in the pack. As you know, there's the coconut. We pack it separately because it keeps the coconut fresher. And then the flour mixture, which has also got oats in it, bran in it, all the healthy things. So flour goes in. And then, of course, we've got some extra in this recipe is some chopped pecan nuts. Now, no beating with beaters, no difficult. Just take a spatula and mix it up nicely and it's a good idea you can see to always work on a cloth so you can turn your bowl easily mm -hmm. Janet has lined this pan with baking paper and then she buttered the baking paper again so that we make absolutely sure it'll be dead easy to get them out then we just put this crumbly mixture into the pan. It's a great thing for children to do. And they make fantastic lunchbox fillers. Now, nothing complicated. You just do a plastering job into the pan. If the kids are doing it, they probably prefer to use their hands. Or alternatively, just use the back of a tablespoon and flatten it down in the pan so that you get even thickness. And just work away the cracks. Now this baby goes into the oven and we're baking it at a reasonably low temperature, 140 degrees, so that you don't get the crunches getting too hard. 
Now, we baked it for 30 minutes, but if you like your crunches a bit harder, then you can bake it for another five or another 10 minutes. Now, the crunches have just come out of the oven and it's best to cut them as soon as they come out of the oven while they're still warm. Then they cut easily. And we've just used a ruler and a pizza wheel, if you have one, and you just cut about ruler width sizes and then, you know, go across the other way. This is obviously a special occasion recipe. That's why we've added the orange and we've added this golden syrup. And we're going to doll this up with some melted chocolate. Now, this is cold. Don't add the chocolate before the mixture has cooled down properly. Now, the chocolate should be nice and soft by now. Um, Oh yes, look at this. That is a piece of cake. No microwaving, no stress that the chocolate is going to seize or anything. Now all you do now is you take a small sandwich plastic bag and into that little bag you scrape the chocolate. Now, once you've got all the chocolate in the bag, then simply just shake it down into the one corner. Then you cut the tiniest, and I really mean tiny, because this chocolate is quite liquid now. It'll run out quite fast. Hold in the, and then You simply just squeeze the chocolate over the crunchies. I'm going to keep the little bit left over. And if you like, when you pack the crunchies out on the plate, pack them out on the plate once the chocolate has set. And then as a final touch, you can just do a couple of lines of chocolate once again over the crunchies, but also over the plate. So it really, really looks special occasion. Now just to finish off our crunchies. Now we haven't wasted a tiniest scrap of that delicious chocolate. 